Someone told her that she had to know more about humans, she was nervous but when she saw the world got excited. Shintaro got free from work and went back to his apartment, he saw the cat he liked when he was a kid but now, he doesn't have time to pet it. He went to his apartment and thought that it had been a month since he entered high school and started living independently. He realized that he was about to catch a cold and slept without doing anything, but his balcony was pleasant. The next morning, he woke up and was still tired and got some milk, but suddenly he realized that the window was open and then went to close it. He was shocked and slipped, the milk spilt on her and she woke up, now she started cleaning herself and he thought that he was pranked. But he didn't know what to do, suddenly she asked for something to wear, and he started finding clean clothes. She wore it and he was embarrassed, now they sat, and she told him her name Tawa she also asked for his introduction and complimented his house. But he told her that he had only this apartment in that building and she said she thought that it was a storeroom. She thanked him for his balcony and asked him to do anything he would like because she was a good girl and our man got lusty because she forgot about the personal space. He said nothing and she said she'd cook for him but there were no ingredients and when she asked to clean, she got into his dirty world. She stopped the cats and told them what God said about fighters and she got injured. He applied a band-aid and asked about her home. She told him that she lived in heaven and she was an angel, our man was shocked and realized that she was a total crack case. Suddenly with alarm realized that he was getting late, so he gave her the clothes and asked her to leave, she was sad, and he left for his work. But he had to take half a leave because he was sick, he took something to eat and was thinking about Tawa and suddenly saw her. She stopped and told him that this kind man was taking her to the hotel and our man saved her and fainted. He woke up and she was there, she started crying and he was inspired by her somehow. She also made food for him from scratch and started feeding him. He was delighted to eat, and she was also enjoying it. He told her that this world was not as good as it looked so she had to behave accordingly. He allowed her to live there and suddenly he thanked her for bringing him home and she said they flew here and showed him the wings. Our man was shocked. The next morning he woke up and thought it was a dream, but Tawa was sleeping next to him with her wings. They decided to get some food and, in the store, her wings appeared, and he took her away. They reached home and he told her to hide her wings in public and she understood. Now she started telling him about her world and she loved the food, and he thought eating from outside would cost a lot. He decided to shop and went shopping, she got overexcited to see the mall and started wandering but he took her and started shopping. She asked to help him with powers, but he refused and while selecting things she liked a mud but placed it back and Shintaro was watching her. People started staring at her, so they ran away, and he looked for clothes and the keeper asked to help, and she selected some sloths. She went to change and decided to return his favor and got the idea to make him happy. She asked to bring happiness to his life and people started staring and they again ran away. While going she asked how she was looking, and he was obsessed with her beauty and said she was looking gorgeous, and they went home. He was tired but she started placing the things and when she saw the mug he said from now it was her mug, and she was very happy. Now they had only one bed and she was with him, and he was lusted. When Tawa came down to earth she was very excited so started looking around and was shocked to see the train. She got tired and sat somewhere and thought about what way she had to choose to become familiar with humans according to her guidebook. She looked at the people and found them very busy so went to a housing area and was sleepy. She was wandering to sleep and found a big building. She went to Shintaro's balcony and thought it was a useless room and slept. This was how she met him and now she was cooking food for him. Now she served him dinner and he was delighted because she was very good at cooking, and it's been a long, he had eaten homemade food. He was thinking about her and found her super cute, but she said she wanted to ask him something after dinner and now he was telling her how to use the bath. He went out and was lusty to the thought that a girl was taking a bath in her washroom and now he got himself busy but was still feeling lusty so started studying. Finally, he got over his lusty feeling and got the urge to pass the urine and went to the toilet, but she was inside and it was a double attack for him. Our angry young man was sorry for his toilet and now when he was taking the bath she came and asked to rub his back and he got embarrassed. At night he wasn't able to sleep and, in the morning, when he went to the washroom she was already there, and it was again embarrassment. Whatever, now he started getting ready and when he removed his pants to pee, she came in and again a blooper happened. Now he started eating his breakfast and after that, he asked to leave for school she asked to come along but he refused and said she had to wait for him. He would come by evening and leave. They both were a little sad and suddenly Shuichi came and shocked him. Sumuji also came and asked if Shintaro was alright because his color was pale and his eye was also not normal. So, he told them that he didn't sleep well and she showed her consoling for him Shuichi asked if he was also her friend but why she wasn't worried for him. Sumuji was blushing and said he was overthinking, and this path ended with talking like that. Our girl was doing household things and when she got free, started thinking about Shintaro and realized he might be hungry. But in the lunch break he wasn't feeling hungry at all and was with his friends Tsumuji asked him to cook for him too. But he refused and Shuichi asked if she could cook for him, and she denied it because she wanted to cook for our man. Suddenly Shintaro saw Tawa and was shocked, 
He told her to go to the rooftop and he also ran away. The boys were staring at her and when our man reached the top, he was sad about why she had come here. She gave him lunch and was about to leave. But he stopped her, and they started eating together. He found its supper delicious and complimented her cooking. Now Tsumuji was going, and she was thinking about how she met our man in childhood, and he helped her to find a way home. After years she went to high school with Shuichi and met with Shintaro again and he was her childhood crush. Now she looked out of the window and saw him with Tawa. He was leaving her and Tsumuji was angry and was shocked when saw Tawa flying. Now our man went home and she welcomed him and he saw his clothes and thanked her for the laundry, but got shy when he saw her boxers and a bear on them because there was a hole in them, he started arranging them and told her not to wash his underwear. She asked if he didn't like it and he got into trouble, so he had to wash his underwear every day. Sumuji was taking a bath, and she was thinking about Shintaro and the girl she had seen but wasn't sure if she was overthinking and she was very sad. Now Shintaro was leaving, and she gave him lunch, but he refused and thought about what he'd explain at school and started crying so he had to accept it. He told her that he had to go to work so he'd be late till 9 and when she tried to ask to come along, he dogged the conversation and left. He was a bit guilty but when saw her relaxed, during the break he tried to leave silently but Shuichi stopped him and Shintaro had to sit with them. He told them that he had helped an old lady, and she gave him lunch but when he opened it, his name was written and Samuji was sure that it was made by a girl and got jealous. Now he was going and thought how he would manage this every day and got frustrated. A fortune teller came to him and tried to inform him about his danger with girls and he ran away. He went to his job and the manager told him about his new colleague and when he went to change saw Noel in cherry panties. She slapped him, and he got a slap print and when he was doing his work, she came to him and gave him a cold towel and said she didn't bother herself with such things. So, he had to forget about it and now they started working normally. But he was troubled by his thoughts and when they finished the work the manager told them about their reward. They went to eat it and she asked if he was not okay with her, she might leave but he was fine, so they took the cherry dessert out and he went lusty, and she was all red. Suddenly the temperature was falling and when he tried to touch her, she said she was a Yukiana and he believed her because he had seen an angel in reality. He asked her to change, and they left. She was holding the parfaits and they smiled, Tawa was playing a video game and she got tired. She was waiting for him and it was very late, Samuji was also exhausted because she wasn't able to focus, so decided to get herself some ice cream and went out. Noel and Shintaro were in the park, and she was behaving weirdly. Suddenly she asked why he believed her, and our man was disturbed because of his present experiences, and she told him about her childhood. She told him that Anna was her genes and her family was very good at holding their powers, but she was an emotional fool. She couldn't control her feelings and always ended up creating trouble, so she decided to lock herself now in high school she was trying to become normal but messed up at work on the first day. The weather again changed, and he started encouraging her and she found him very helpful, she was cheerful and asked to be friends and he accepted it. She was very happy and suddenly he saw a feather and she was Tawa, and they were shocked, last but not least Samuji also came and saw our man with two weird things. Our man was living a normal life till last week. But life got messed up now. What will happen next? Share your opinion in the comments section and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.